Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. Now at the time I'm making this video, it looks like we're printing some nice green candles on XRP. Still sitting here around 36 cents, but it's nice to see some price movement. You know, instead of sideways and down or just sideways for days at a time. It's really nice to see it. So let's take a look at today's video. So the U.S. SEC Chair Gary Gensler says Bitcoin is the only crypto he's willing to give a label as a commodity. Now, I don't know about you, but it's very, very frustrating with this SEC lawsuit. And here we see again, the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit delays expected as new developments emerge. And it's so tiring. Every time you think like you're going to get a little bit of good news this week, it always seems to be held back again. Like I told you last week in some of the videos I made, hopefully that, you know, the judge comes out and makes a quick decision and ends this thing. You know, everybody could hope. But instead, we get this, more delays, more tie-ups. Then we see this, it's high time Gary Gensler was removed from office, like if you agree. And the thing is, we're so fed up with it, that it's at the point where some people get shaken out by it. They're like, oh, you know, I can't do this anymore. I have to get out of crypto because I, you know, are out of XRP. I'm going to go buy something else. So I could see, you know, some sort of gains or something. But the thing is, you never want to leave XRP because you know at any given time, you know, this can take off and turn around. This lawsuit could end at any time. I think it's prolonged for a reason. I think what's going on with it is the new financial system is getting built behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure the U.S. has already started their progress in it even though they they don't come out and tell us that i'm pretty sure that's being built for the u.s right now but maybe that's why it's held back maybe that's why you know the sec case can't end yet and then we see a delay a delay with flair also and maybe next week is the time that we hear something about this court case who knows but I do know a lot of people are frustrated. And now is not the time to sell your XRP. Now is not the time. First off, you would end up selling at a loss. If you're new to crypto and this bothers you that, you know, an SEC court case is going on against XRP. I mean, to me, it's like a joke. And to most XRP holders, they know it's a joke. They know it's one big charade. And we're just waiting for the flip of the switch to happen. We're waiting for some kind of an announcement that says this court case is over. And all the relisting begins on all of the exchanges that took XRP down. And then XRP will definitely start moving very fast. And then it'll be too late to get back in maybe. So it's better to just be patient and let things take its course. Then we see this. Ethereum is JP Morgan. Support Wall Street and buy Ethereum. XRP levels the field and is the revolt against JP Morgan. And that's the thing. I also feel like this court case is drug out because like these elitists want to just cash in one more time. Really big. Maybe they want to go in, you know, all in and cash out one huge massive amount of money. Who knows? Who knows how much money they're already making daily. You don't know because it's going on behind the scenes. So the XRP lawsuit. SEC files a motion to reduce Ripple's expert testimony. And that's the thing. We see this all the time, you know. Motions are filed. Delays are happening. You know, and a lot of people get very, very frustrated quick. Be patient. And we see this. When is he going to be arrested and his puppet masters removed from the SEC in handcuffs? TV arrests are coming, folks. 
The elite is starting to fall apart. The Fed is next to fall. A lot of people feel the Fed is going down. A lot of people feel like the Fed did a huge mis, you know, like injustice as far as, you know, overprinting. They didn't have to continue printing all this money. It was meant to happen. I think it was meant to happen to bring the old system down. Inflation is sky high. You know, gas prices are crazy at this point. Food prices are becoming astronomical. Then on top of it, you have shortage after shortage, which causes the price to even go up further. And behind it all is the Fed who says they don't really understand inflation. I mean, I didn't understand that when they said that last week. But what you got to keep in mind is this. As the rest of the world is seeing, you know, the worst scenario of their lives, you know, being played out. You know, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. You know, I'm working class, just like most of you. I'm a you know, retail investor, I go to work, I cash my check, and I buy crypto, and then I talk about crypto. I've said it many times. But th think about the person who doesn't invest any money. And I've talked to people like that, you know, and I said to them, you know, maybe you should get into crypto. It, it's an only up game. The only way you really lose is if you ever sell out. And most people are like, well... I'm going to live it up. I don't care about investing right now. I'm still young. I'll invest later on. A lot of people will say, hey, you know, I don't have to worry about investing because at some point I'll retire. I'll get my Social Security. Well, guess what? Social Security may not be there by the time most people get there. We don't know what's going to happen between now and then. But at least if you're invested, you have something to feel good about. You're like, wow, I could sit here and watch my investment grow. Not in crypto winter, of course, not for us right now. But when crypto winter's over and things are looking great, I want to be here celebrating with all of you. I want to do videos and say, you know, t can you believe XRP hit this price or that price? Because that's what we have to look forward to. Other people don't. And as things get more and more, how can I put it, more and more crises come up and inflation goes higher and higher, people that don't have any type of investments, people that live paycheck to paycheck and don't put any money away, maybe they go party it up every weekend. It's going to get really rough for them people. I'm just hoping crypto really takes off before anything major happens. And I think it will. I think the stock market has one more blow off top in it, which is going to cause everything to go up with it as far as cryptocurrency. So we'll be able to cash out some money and be safe through, you know, whatever comes next. But a lot of people won't. And that's why I always talk to people about crypto. I make videos about crypto because if you're a new investor, I want you to come into crypto, invest some money and, you know, make as much as you possibly can. I never want to see you lose money. That's why we don't really talk about coins that are not ISO 222 compliant or coins that don't have any use case or utility. And the reason I don't do that is because I don't want to see you get wrecked in this, you know, market. I don't want to see you put your hard-earned money in and end up with nothing. So let's continue. Those patient enough with eyes to see and ears to listen will be rewarded ha ha handsomely. The new 1% being created right now. And that's the thing. We are the new 1% in my opinion. Why? Because I know how far XRP can go in price. I know the new financial systems being built and we're part of it. Just by holding and being patient. And we see this. If XRP hits $1,000 and everyone cashed out, where would the, U the U.S. dollar, you know, money come from to pay everyone out? Question for anyone to answer. Please, I'm new at this and don't understand. The thing is, if XRP hits $1,000, a lot of people still are not going to cash out. 
And you're going to have people that want to buy XRP at $1,000 because they know it's going to go much higher. You're always going to be able to sell your XRP, in my opinion. And the reason I say that is because there's going to be a demand for it. It's going to move all the money. Patience is the key to success. And what do we see there? These are the ISO tokens. XRP, XDC, ALGO, XLM, QNT. You could also add in IOTA, HBAR, CASPER, in my opinion. And with that said, I'm going to leave you with this. Just be patient and do nothing. Don't let anything worry you. Don't let any more SEC delays worry you. Because our time to shine is coming. It's right around the corner. So we'll see you in the next video. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great night.